Welcome back to another episode of Do Not Feed the Monkeys. So like the last two uh, videos which were part of this um, uh, sort of like the same uh, gameplay session, I am just re-recording, we, we got the word hat by the way, but I am uh, re-recording uh, the narration because the narration, the quality, the, the auto quality was, was really bad. So I'm just going to redo it this session. When I started it initially, I forgot to record. I forgot to hit the record button, so then I had to re-record. And now, from that recording that I had to, to I mean, not technically redo, because I didn't do it in the first place, but uh, I had to, uh, now I have to do redo the narration, if that all makes sense. So these guys are very disappointed in me, and I'm not worthy of whatever. I don't care. And I feel like, because I'm pretty sure the plant is based on, if you do positive things, it'll grow. Um, properly um but i feel like i did mostly positive things it might have a little bit to do with the fact that i did kind of get a guy murdered by accident that they uh, are not happy with me and the plant didn't grow properly oh yeah we just called this woman and we just keep saying sex in her language she just she's i have no idea what she's saying she's saying some kind of weird foreign stuff and we just say sex but anyhow um you know and i did like you know it's just you don't always know how things are going to turn out in this game like you know i tried to actually i think i tried to get what did i try to do i tried to do something and it ended up in the convenience store guy murdering well not murdering or yeah he murdered yeah he murdered a um a customer didn't he i have no idea what you're saying which he wants fifty dollars and uh, normally there'd be some sound effects here, but I'm just, you know, I had to sort of mute the video just because of there's too much noise on it. So unfortunately, but we got a whip for, uh, we got a $35 whip. So that's not half bad. Day 15. Anyways, yeah. So I accidentally got a guy murdered. I forget what I was trying to do. It wasn't that. Uh, Walker's re-elected. Lots of um, whiteout or correction fluid. Uh, there's a job cruise for people who are unemployed and they're going to just go everywhere looking for jobs and 40 amazing for pornography and cat videos i am not surprised by either of those two things you know what both of those two things have been waiting for is 4d i don't even know what 4d is per se but regardless anyhow so now if you want 4d pornography and you live within the do not feed the monkeys universe you got it so she's going to get changed again, I think. Not into the bedroom. I don't know why I bought the multicam if I don't get to watch her get changed in her bedroom. I'm joking, because that would be incredibly creepy if that's um, kind of what I wanted. But she's changed. Um, but I also tried to, if you remember, I tried to get the guy, turn the, the musician into a drug addict. And that didn't happen. I accidentally helped him. So sometimes I try to do a bad thing and it turns out good. And sometimes I try to do a good thing and it turns out bad. So that's just, you know, how it goes. Or sometimes I try to do a bad thing and it turns out the wrong kind of bad like i think with the convenience store guy i was just trying to get the uh the the robber killed anyway so this is kind of some of the text we saw before from from these two some of the same dialogue um but yeah so i mean this is the weirdest thing is it not like you have this person who i assume is her husband yet she's talking about someone else who's excited to be a dad and he seems okay if he's like that child's gonna be very very special he, he probably wouldn't say it like that he's like i'm not surprised i'm sure that child will be very very special I, I i'm trying to sound genuine i just keep sounding sarcastic and then she's like yeah that's what the the father keeps saying he says i'm a little disappointed about the prize he promised me like that's what you're worried about your wife i assume your wife is screwing a dude and got pregnant with him and you're you know anyways you're worried about that but how can it be set if I came in second from what he told me the winner is going to accidentally fall from the fifth floor of a building and you're going to move up to first place that's amazing that's she has fever so my first thought when I saw this kind of playing this was was hey we need to send her antibiotics and by the way this far like everything in this video I is all things I didn't get to the to the first time I tried to record this session where I forgot to record I didn't get anywhere near this far like everything in this video um, basically I didn't get that far in the first kind of trying to record but I didn't hit record session I this is from the 
the actual proper session I did record, but just the narration was bad and now I'm redoing it. But my first instinct was let's send her some antibiotics. Can we get antibiotics up to the space station? She's kind of dark. You know, she wants to join her crew on the whitelist and eternal journey out there. That's a little on, um, ominous. He's like, bye, my little honey bun. One thing about this cage that is um, with the woman who's screwing the dude um, is that's a little annoying. It has nothing to do with the game. It's just a little that, a bit of that was spoiled for me because, you know, my instinct was you have to maybe call her somehow, get her number, and then, you know, be like, hey, lady, can you just move the hat? Oh, what's this? Is this rent? Yeah, okay. Jeez, $90. That's so steep. Anyways, um, like, can you just move the hat? But that's not what you do. You actually have to call the radio station to get them to cause the hat to be moved. Um, and I didn't know that, but it ended up being spoiled for me by accident. So, I mean, I would have figured it out anyways, because I do have the contact for the radio. I just, you know, never did it in this session of gameplay. But, um, yeah, anyways, uh, you know, it's it's just that kind of got spoiled for me. And so it kind of sucks because, you know, and I, I don't necessarily know how the cage goes per se. I know a couple of details. There's one detail I'm not going to mention um, per se, but it's it's kind of a kooky detail maybe, you know. Um, so there's a, a couple of things that have been spoiled about that. But, you know, I'm still looking forward to eventually re-going through this playthrough and trying to get that cage sooner so I can um, actually, um, you know, complete it and stuff. So... Anyways, but here's 25 cages, so that's all the cages we need. You know, we're set for uh, well, basically like, you know, everything the Monkey Club wanted. So here's what I'm talking about. See, you see, here's the hat. If I if I chug some coffee and go back, here's here's the hat. And you know, there's a guy she's talking to behind it, and my instinct would be, well, clearly, you know, we just call her and tell her to move the hat. What, what's that that was um that that thermal cam looked kind of funny but I, I didn't stay on it long enough to really see you know but like my instinct would be like let's call her and you know she can move the hat although of course there's no uh um video camera in there or not a video camera no what's the other thing obviously there's a video camera that's what we're watching this on there's no um there's no phone <laughs> uh this guy's having panic attacks it's really funny when you know who he is and that's something, you know, seeing that will be funny once I can finally get the hat removed. But in any event, you know, he's doing relaxation, exercises for stress, all that kind of thing. And it's hilarious when you know who he is. And he's a stalker. And I have no idea what that's about. And it's probably important, but I have no idea what that's about. So I don't know everything about this cage. I just know some things that I wish I didn't um, because I didn't figure them out myself. I just sort of accidentally, you know... Uh, found them out but also I just realized something when I was kind of editing the footage you know and where you can see their text but the night cam vision is off I was like well, how can you see their text if there's no night cam obviously you wouldn't be able to see it in the dark but I just realized that obviously that's just representative of them talking and it doesn't actually physically appear and this was a, this is like what that guy portals and she just goes back to bed look at that she just she just like she just turns over it's like eh, he just portaled out no big deal you know i've seen that before oh yeah i tried to record her just to see if i could like send it into the shock people but you can't even record this cage has been such a disappointment you don't get to watch her change you don't get to record her sleeping i promise i'm not a weirdo i'm just joking about those things i promise i am not actually a weirdo you know, I'm not one of those, like, hack people's webcams to watch them sleep in real life. But hey, day 16, and we got the achievement, uh, which I believe is for reaching level 4. Congratulations, you passed your final evaluation and stuff. And oh, it's the mailman. Hello, apartment uh, 16, a gentleman very mysterious, give me this for you. He says something about some monkeys I almost don't understand. So take, take. It's a letter from the club. Basically, you got to read the instructions. I got an achievement, so congratulations to me for that. No, I'm not even sure what it's for, but anyhow, you've re I've reached the highest member of the club. Your monkey vision will be deactivated from now on and 
for as long as we consider appropriate. You should focus all your attention on these rules and not leave your home. And if you do, make sure it's only for period or only for short periods. If you're planning to be away for long periods, consider getting a house sitter you can trust or something. Uh, act as normally as possible. I'll try to be yourself, particularly in any of the following rooms of your house, such as living room, kitchen, and we don't even have a third room, so we just error. Uh, try to engage in interesting, interesting activities inside your home. Try and try to uh, try to basically be exciting. Finally, please remember that when you joined the club, you authorized us to take the relevant disciplinary measures in the event that you failed to meet your obligation. Anyway, so basically, the Russian roulette it, it became legal, I think. And so, yeah, so that kind of happened. Also, like the, the stuff got stolen, so he sold his lower the curtain and he died, so that's sad. But anyways, she has lots of addicts, so she's taking lots of pictures of naked uh I guess women, but maybe also men. I don't know. It's not really. Uh, it's not really explained. I'd like to know more of that story. Is you know, is she taking pictures of naked men as well? That last one is completely useless. I have no idea. I think he's like, why did you go have sex with that man for fifty dollars? I'm your husband slash brother slash living husband slash. I, I don't know. I wish I could read that freaky foreign language, but he yells at her or something. Okay, so it's time for my take of the game. What did I think of it? Um, basically, I love it. It's really fun. It's so much fun. It's frantic. It's hectic. It's really stressful when you're playing it. Uh, and probably, you know, trying to commentate live is not, uh, doesn't make it any better, but it's really stressful. It's really, really hectic, I think. And, and, you know, if you read the reviews for it, some people are like, you know, too easy, too hard. So I think some of that's just skill level. I think I'm probably right in the middle. Um, as opposed to other people are very, you know, not very good at it, so they think it's too hard. Other people are very good at it, so they think it's too easy. Um, complaints, I wish there was a sandbox mode, right, where you could just pick the cages you want to deal with, so you could, you know, play around with all their different endings. I wish there was workshop support, because I'd love to see community creation cage cages. Obviously, some of them would be messed up, some of them would be really weird and bad, but uh, hey, some of them would be really, really cool, and some of those messed up ones would be <laughs> really fun to play, I bet you. Um, you know, filler cages, I'm not a fan of um, too much. I just, I mean, I love them. They're, they're really cool to see. You know, it's really cool that you can design just a little something and you don't have to do like the whole elaborate, you know, uh, story behind it. But I just wish I could like hide them or cages that I'm finished. I wish I could hide them. And I really wish there was some kind of a mode where I could pick the cages so it's not always a random bunch every time because I would like to, you know, be able to say, okay, I want cages I haven't done before, that kind of thing. And I want to, you know, all cages that are like I, I don't want any filler i want all cages that have something going on you know where i can answer an observational question so i can make money that way you know things like that um, but overall very solid i mean i recommend it to anybody and it has linux support now so that's really good um, and this is the kind of indie game i really do believe is worth supporting you know and i mean i think I mean, I, I paid why? I mean, I paid less than twenty dollars for it, and I feel like there's a lot more value in this than some AAA titles, depending, you know, who they're from. I mean, if they're from EA, definitely more value. If they're from Nintendo, well, I mean, you know, the, considering you paid less than twenty dollars for what you get, it's the same value as what you pay the, you know, eighty Canadian for a Nintendo game. It's the same value, you know. I think is that I think way more value than a uh, than an EA game or something like that. You get way more value for your money. But overall, I love it. Shortcomings notwithstanding, I love the game. So if you like weird voyeur, voyeuristic type games, this is perfect for you. That's the end of the video, though. So thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. All that jazz. And bye.